For the past 10 years, dedicated volunteers at St. Vincent Charity Medical Center have hosted a special trick or treat for Cleveland's central neighborhood. Now, here's the thing, today is different. On the cusp of the hospital's transition to outpatient care, today's the last oh. Halloween event. Lindsay Buckingham is with us live uh, to talk about what they're gonna be doing. Are, are they doing anything particularly special for this end event, I guess you would call it? You know what, I think just the energy itself was special, well, ladies. Yeah. I have to tell you, it really was bittersweet for everyone there today because the hospital's main mission is to serve the community. This is just a glimpse at St. Vincent's Charities Trick or Treat event, dancing volunteers, spectacular activities, and cheerful kids. It's what this group of dedicated staff has done for a decade. It's also served community members with free health screenings and food bags. Today may be the end of trick or treat, but certainly not the mission. I think the caregivers were extremely blessed to be able to do this one more time for the community. That is the mission of the hospital, to serve the community. And these kids are the future of this community. So to have them on our, on our campus one more time is really, really wonderful to see their smiling faces. And the caregivers are getting so much out of this too. I mean, it's a very sad time here at St. Vincent, but this is, I think is bringing some joy to all of us today. Now, some of the volunteers we spoke to attended every single Halloween event for the last 10 years. They tell us they have no plans to stop serving the community. Also, the hospital will make the transition from inpatient to outpatient next month. Southwest General Health Center announcing it will continue the work of St. Vincent Charities Bariatric Surgery, ladies. Wow. Mm -hmm. It is really sad, but like that woman said, when you see kids having fun and enjoying themselves and smiling, it kind of puts all your feelings to rest, at least in that moment, which is really nice. And I also think, and I mean this, it really inspired them to want to do more. There was a lot of nonprofit organizations, food pantries, et cetera. They said, we're not stopping. We're gonna find other ways. This is our community. We're gonna yeah. follow them wherever they go. Love that. The guy that was dressed in the skeleton Yeah, the thing, scary skeleton. A little scary, yeah. and I'm thinking, I'm not gonna lie. those kids. <laughs> I, I got a little scared kids. when yeah, I something. But, but the kids, you guys, the kids were so sweet. They didn't care. Okay, I good. cared a little bit, but uh, the kids loved it. They, they had a blast. Having fun. Yeah. Lindsay, oh, thanks. Making good memories. Yeah. Lindsay, thank you.